11 candidates, among them, Employers Association for the Tourism and Safari Operators, ETSO, National President Mr. Clement McQuasi have been shortlisted to attend public interviews to fill two vacancies that have arisen in the Zimbabwe Human Rights Commission, ZHRC. Included on the shortlist are Lupane State University, LSU, lecturer Mr. Kanan Mpala, University of Zimbabwe Law Lecturer, Dr. Sharon Hafisi, co-founder of His Presence Ministries International, Pastor Petunia Chiraseri, Mr. Blessing Durrani and Ms. Jasmine Hawera. Others are Mrs. Thokas Ilkatsadzira, Mr. Nkuleleko Ndlovu, Mrs. Angela Nchikamba, Ms. Chipo Suka, Mr. Basil Masara. In a statement, Clerk of Parliament, Mr. Kennedy Chikuta said the interviews would be carried out in terms of the Constitution. The Committee on Standing Rules and Orders CSRO, of the Parliament of Zimbabwe is mandated in terms of Sections 237 and 238 of the Constitution to nominate candidates for appointment by His Excellency, the President, to serve as commissioners on the Zimbabwe Human Rights Commission ZHRC, as provided for in Chapter 12 Part 2 of the Constitution, reads the notice. He said nominations were opened on 21 September and ran until 1 October 2021. Parliament of Zimbabwe received 16 nominations, 10 males and 6 females, by the closing date. The Committee on Standing Rules and Orders met on Thursday, 18 November 2021, to consider the suitability of the nominees to serve on this commission, said Mr. Chikuta. The interviews will be conducted in line with COVID-19 regulations and protocols. All unvaccinated candidates will be required to bring a negative COVID-19 certificate issued within 48 hours prior to the interviews, the notice reads. The ZHRC is one of the independent constitutional bodies set up in terms of the Constitution. It is mandated to, among other things, promote awareness of and respect for all human rights and freedoms, promote the protection, development, and realization of all human rights and freedoms, monitor and assess observance of human rights and freedoms in Zimbabwe. It investigates the conduct of any authority or person suspected of violating any of the human rights provided for in the Constitution's Declaration of Rights. The Commission is also mandated to take necessary action to assist victims of human rights violations to receive justice. The organization also visits and inspects prisons, detention places, refugee camps and similar facilities where mentally disordered or intellectually handicapped persons are detained and make necessary recommendations about their conditions to the responsible minister. It prepares and submit a human rights annual report to Parliament.